IQIKI stock, the Chinese long form content streaming stock is getting shellacked. It's getting beaten up. They reported earnings. They beat on the earnings, but they're, they didn't beat on the revenue and they're actually down year over year and they're saying that their content is a little bit slow right now and that's why they're losing membership let's go over the overall fundamentals of iq stock now i found this in a s p global article and this is the market share of video services in 2022 so this is about a year and a half old but Ikee is one of the top video streaming services in China. And then Tencent is number two at 66% versus 68%. So that's 68% of internet adults use Ikee. And then Tencent is number two. Douyin, which is the equivalent of TikTok, is number three. So definitely have large market share. So very relevant company. Ikee or IQ has a very low PE even now. So the PE before this earnings report, analysts were expecting a higher number. So the EPS right now is an updated 24 cents per share. At this stock price, of two dollars and 34 cents a 24 cents forward pe for this year 2024 that's better than a 10 pe this is a 9.69 pe so at this price if iq was not to grow the company would earn a 10 percent earnings yield which is an attractive an attractive valuation and an attractive yield because that means that the company would add 10 percent value every year on the balance sheet which in theory could make the stock price go up or could be paid out as dividends so analysts had higher expectations before but even now they are expecting growth so this year will be a bad year for iq stock obviously reflected in the stock price so 24 cents is what is expected this year which is actually still good a 10 a 10 pe is considered value it's value because it's better than treasuries treasuries are about four and change now and you're getting 10 percent. so you are getting rewarded to get out of something safe and into something risky that's what a stock is not only that Analysts are expecting 41 cents next year and then 52 cents the year after that. And these are now lower expectations than before. The expectations were higher. So what would a company like this be worth in two years when it was when it is earning 52 cents, if it earns 52 cents? Well, it could be worth a double. It could be worth a higher multiple. And that's what investors like myself would be hoping for. Uh, a growing company we've seen 20 30 pe possible and even higher so if this future earnings got a 30 multiple for example this would be what is that a 15 dollar stock so that's the logic behind buying these cheap stocks that are growing earnings that have a low multiple that can have a future high multiple down the road so now the balance sheet it's important that these risky companies, they're small, so they're, they're inherently going to be risky, that they can, it's important that they can weather any recession or economic storm, which may be happening right now uh, for IQ. We know that China is going through a slowdown, so that is going to affect IQ. And IQ has plenty of cash, and their cash pile has been growing. So 968 million US dollars is what they have on the balance sheet now they do have 2.2 billion in debt so it's not like they have excess cash over debt but they have plenty of cash to to survive if they went negative but they are not negative 
but we have to point out that when you're buying the stock a portion of that will be cash so it makes it safer than if they had no cash and quickly just going over their cash flow statement their latest statement for Q2 shows that they're getting positive cash flow positive free cash flow 382 million renminbi and divide by seven to get dollars so that's a good sign that the the business is working they are getting positive free cash flow and that's what they need to survive and weather any economic storm from a price action view it could be that the stock will continue to get pounded to previous support which is around the 1.7 to 2 if it keeps selling off I am very interested at in those levels because if you look they have so much cash they have 968 million in cash and if the market cap keeps falling if it keeps falling closer to a billion the stock market cap will be closer to the the cash pile and it just makes it more attractive if you can get a lower entry into a company that's that has a cheap valuation let's just quickly look at some ratios the price to cash flow is really low it's at four typically normal stocks you might see 20 or 15 price to sales is 0 0.53 very often when I see a, an attractive stock the price to sales is like two and for a normal growing company you might see something like 10 times price to sales so all these ratios just look very cheap this is price to tangible book I believe this is more closely book value but for a value investor absolutely if you can pay book value or less very attractive especially if the business is profitable and if you look this is traded 3 and then 12 and now it's trading at 1 so you couldn't even build an IQ business for the money it's costing right now it's actually cheaper to buy the sum of the parts than to start your own business so is that a fair value for a company that's profitable that is that is working let's go look at uh, their earnings historical next so seeking alpha is nice because it shows the previous earnings and if you look from 2018 to last year 2023 they were a growing business negative 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 and then they finally went positive in 2022 making 13 cents and their best year so far was last year uh, where they made 40 cents so we know the earning power of the business is around that 40 40 cents potentially it's like 20 cents right now but we're hoping to see 40 and 50 cents over the future so if it returns to 40 cents right now it's trading at two dollars and 30 cents so that would be a huge closer to 20 percent earnings yield or a 5 pe which would be fantastic all the growth we would want from the company is has already happened before so if you can get a 20 percent earnings yield on your stock if you can get 20 percent on your money every year you would be very happy you would you would do very well so <clears throat> according to analysts IQ is expected to do even better than that so I'm just reinforcing the fact that this is becoming a deep value uh, price for the earnings potential of IQ here I'm applying Bollinger Bands now you can play with the settings on the Bollinger Bands but I'm using 100 days and two standard deviations and if you look in the past when the stock has gotten gotten oversold it will creep out of the Bollinger Bands all the Bollinger Bands do is they plot a moving average and then they plot the standard deviations so 95% of the time 
the dat the prices will stay within the Bollinger Bands. And if you look in the past, it, IQ has gotten out of the Bollinger ba Band and then eventually retraced. That doesn't mean that it will happen again. It can happen for multiple days. So hopefully that means that there's limited downside, especially after looking at the balance sheet. So if someone's in this, they might be stressed because they see back-to-back -back red bars. They might see that in the past two days, it's dropped 23%. But remember, this is a real business. There's real cash flows. So there will be a point where all the sellers are exhausted and then the real value should be discovered because that's how price discovery works. In summary, IQ stock is getting beaten up. It's getting tested. And this is the best time for value investors to do their shopping, to do their homework and dig into the financials to see whether a stock is attractive or not. Let me know what you think and let me know what other symbols you are trading.